Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had taken 500 steps and been kicked out of the park, so we are going right back into the Safari Zone. Now, it's not really that much of a hassle. We still do have quite a few Pokemon that we are going to go with. However, um, well, tell you what, I have not read any of these signs as far as I can recall, so let's do that right now. Now, in this opening area, we have got two Pokemon that we are going to need to try to catch in this water, but unfortunately, we do not have the right fishing rod to do it. There are also two Pokemon that we can try to catch in this particular area, specifically in the spot that I'm standing in right now, and this one as well. Yeah, those are your two best shots to catch a Tangela and a Chansey in this opening area. But I figure since we've got to come back here anyway, let's just go on to area number two. Well, see, that's the problem. Get this. Even though this is area two, technically it's area one. See, the Safari Zone is blocked off, or marked off, separated, whichever you want to call it, into four squares that basically read um, counterclockwise as one, two, three, and four. Kinda. See, now, the problem is that according to, well, every walkthrough you're going to get or anything like that, that's not the way they're labeled. How they're labeled is Safari Zone Entrance 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, I know. So all of a sudden, that makes things a lot more difficult. I know, man. That's kind of why I'm talking as I'm going. Okay, so now we are about to enter part number three. Though, according to everything you're going to read, this is Safari Zone Part 2. Now, you can always find where you're supposed to go and where the break is by these little blue arrows on the ground that I'm about to cross over. See? There we go. Now I'm in Part 3. Okay, get this. These stairs right above me. Do not go up those stairs. They take you far out of the way and absolutely nothing is up there. It's completely useless. Um, okay. Oh, really? Secret house. Very cool. Okay, we are definitely going to want to do that. Now, another way is down here. Okay. I got that. Yeah, that's kind of what they've been doing the whole game so far. Do not go down here. Down here will bring you to area four and, you know, the final area. But the problem is we don't actually want to go down there yet. No. We would like to go up here. Now, up here, you can usually find things like Taurus and things like that in the grass that I just walked through. That's great. That's still not where we want to be. Now, even down here, um, see? Area 2. Right. Technically, this is labeled off as Area 2, because there is that entrance 1, 2, and 3. Though, as we all know, if you've been following, this is the third area that I've been in. Uh-huh. I know it's a little confusing. This is another area we do not want to go down. It will take us to the fourth area, and that's great. I mean, realistically, we do want to go to the fourth area, but we don't want to use this path to get there. Instead, we'd kind of like to go up here. Now, in this area, we are in... We are going to run into a bunch. Right. We've seen this outside in the zoo, but we've never actually seen this up front or up close. So, um, what is Kangaskhan? Kangaskhan, a parent Pokemon. Once approaching extinction, they are now protected by law and inhabit the Safari Zone. Approach with extreme caution. The Kangaskhan is a rare Pokemon which raises its children in its pocket. They will attack viciously and without warning if they feel their young are threatened in any way. Without a doubt, Kangaskhan is the most difficult Pokemon to catch in the entire game. Kangaskhan is a normal type that does not evolve. At level 1, it will learn both Comet Punch and Rage. At 26, it will have Bite. At 31, it will have Tail Whip. Now, Kangaskhan has got a tough defense and a high HP, but that's not where the strength of this one lies. Like Taurus, Kangaskhan can learn a ton of TMs, like Water Gun, Blizzard, Hyper Beam, Seismic Toss, Thunder, etc. 
this one is definitely going to be moved beyond its normal type. It is a defensive disadvantage against fighting and an offensive advantage against nothing. Just in saying Kangaskhan's name out loud, you can tell that its name comes from the combination of the words kangaroo and the name of the legendary Mongolian warrior, Genghis Khan. Oh great, see Genghis Khan is my nemesis. Yes, this is not going to be any fun for me and I hope we catch it. Oh, I... yeah. Just like that. I know. See, I had to show at least one of those, and it had to be that one that did it. Now, in Area 3, what we're going to find is we are going to find Kangaskhans. We are also going to find, um, two that we haven't seen yet. Oh, we will. And we're also going to be able to run into Chanseys and Rhyhorns, Cubones, Executes, Nidoran male and female, as well as Nidorinas. Perfect. Okay, so is this one going to run away now? Let's hope that we can actually catch this thing, because fact is, we're going to need a few... Uh-huh. Okay, why not? Now, that's number two, and I've still missed it. That's perfectly fine. So, we know that they are here. Now, I guess we just have to try and farm them out. And see, I actually don't mind doing this at all. Um, when it comes right down to it, if I really wanted to, I could attempt to just try and change my facing, and going the way where I am right now is probably a great idea. Um, when it all said and done, uh, I can't walk any farther to the left, and Pikachu is actually blocking my path to the right. You know, I never even thought about doing this before. This may be a very good way of just changing my facing enough that, um, well, I'm not taking steps, but I am changing the facing that I'm looking at, which means that I should be able to set everything off. Uh, hopefully that works. Right now it doesn't seem that it is, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know. That's what I had always thought, anyway. Let's try it over here. Right. Hey, there's a Pokeball up there. Perfect. And here is another Kangaskhan. So, like last time, I am going to throw a Pokeball and see if I can actually catch this thing. Will... Okay, okay, so we're still good. It did break free, but that's perfectly fine. Now, all we've got to do is let it run away. Great. Okay. I'm not worried about this at all. We are going to get that thing. Eventually, it is going to be mine. Yes. And the problem, though, is that I would actually like two of them. Yeah, I know. Two of them. That's okay. So, now I've tried that little walking back and forth trick, or looking back and forth trick, and it just doesn't seem to work for me. So now here is one more Kangaskhan, and we are going to just throw Pokeballs till we catch this thing. Now, it ran, or it uh, broke free, that's perfectly fine. Can we catch a Kangaskhan? Okay. Here's ball number three. Can we actually catch this thing? Not yet. Okay, that's still fine. I'm still totally fine with this. And, okay. I have got a lot of Pokeballs left and a lot of steps. So if I can just catch one of these things, if it takes 30 Pokeballs, I am totally fine with that. Uh-huh. Okay, that's fine too. So now let's see if we can do this little walking trick. And if we can't, that's okay. Basically, we know that if we walk in this little area, we're going to run into a lot of Kangaskhans at least. So, now the big question is, are we going to be able to run into any of the other four, well, five Pokemon that we're looking for? Yeah, there still are a few. It's nothing major, but there still are a few. Now, again, I know, man. I am going to try to catch this thing. So all I'm going to do is just sit back on this and oh my word. That's brilliant, man. We actually caught a Kangaskhan and that didn't take that long. Man, that's perfect. Okay, um, no, I don't want to. I think that's brilliant. Now, save my game. 
And so now, just like that, um, we have caught our very own Kangaskhan, and that is perfect to me. Now, TM40 is Skull Bash, and really it's not that bad, though truthfully, I don't think I'm going to use it. Hey, what's up here? Rest House. Okay, very cool. Now, is anything down here? No, there is not. So, and... Oh, look at this! Wait a second. What is Scyther? Scyther and Electabuzz are both rare Pokémon. They are able to distinguish colors and become enraged by the color red. Scyther is a bug and flying type that does not evolve. At level 1, it will have quick attack. At 17, it will learn leer. At 20, it will have focus energy. And at 24, it will learn double team. Exclusive to Pokémon Yellow, it will learn Wing Attack at level 50. Unfortunately, Scyther is unavailable in Pokémon Blue, but this one has good attack and speed stats, but there's a problem. See, Scyther is a dual type of Bug and Flying, but if you've heard the list or know the list, it doesn't learn any Bug attacks at all, and it only learns one Flying attack, and that's at level 50 exclusive to Pokémon Yellow. While it can learn a few TMs, it's got nothing that makes this really any good at all. Fact of the matter is that Scyther looks a lot cooler than it really is. It has a defensive disadvantage to rock, fire, poison, flying, electric, and ice. As a bug type, it has an offensive advantage to grass, poison, and psychic. And as a flying type, it has an advantage to grass, fighting, and bug. Scyther's name came from the shape of its claws, and originally, Scyther was supposed to be named Strike, but was changed before Pokémon Red and Blue were released in the U.S. Okay, very cool. Now, like with Kangaskhan, we are going to try everything we can possibly try to catch this Scyther. Now, it... Aha. Uh -huh. Just like Kangaskhan. Okay, not a problem. Now, I'm going to take a quick stop into this rest house. Um, hi there. How are you? Oh, I plan to, yeah. Oh, very cool. Okay, I'll do that. Hi. Oh, really? Okay, very cool. Uh, you know what, though? Here's the kick. No, you won't. You actually do have just enough steps to get everything in the game. The problem is, you have to kind of take shortcuts, you need to know where every single thing is, and you cannot talk to people. Stay out of the rest houses. Um, yeah. I know, man, I, um... It's, it's Evolution Stones. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, we'll actually get there while we're in Fuchsia City, too. Okay, so, now, I've already seen quite a number of what I'm looking for, including, just like right now, one more Kangaskhan that ran away. But that's okay. Now, the problem that we have, though, is that if you take a look at my start menu, you'll see that I've only got 15, well, excuse me, 16 Pokeball, or Safari Balls left, as well as 57 more steps. Okay, that's fine. What that means, though, is now I've got to try and do as many of these little tricks as I can to see if I can, well, use up as many Pokeballs as I can without getting thrown out of this place. Now, uh, as you can see from my little pixelated ash, I am turning, looking back and forth. However, this does not seem to work for me. For whatever reason, it's not working. Okay, and I've got a pretty sneaking suspicion that the spot that I'm standing in, and at least this little area, is all going to be Kangaskhans, which to me is great. Sometimes they run immediately, and sometimes they just, well, don't. But, you know, fact is, I actually don't want a Kangaskhan. I would, however, like this Scyther. So, um, let's see if we can do exactly the same thing. Now, this level 25 Scyther is potentially going to be able to be caught. Man, I hope so, anyway. We only need one of them. We're not going to need to trade this Scyther. In fact, is it doesn't evolve. So, uh-huh. Just like Kangaskhan. Okay, that's fine. Now, fortunately, we do know roughly where this thing is. So if we can get to a spot where we can potentially catch it, this may work out relatively well for us. Now, the only question I have now is, are we going to be able to use the um, all of our, our safari balls before we take all of our steps? Um, you know, I kind of hope so. But I guess not. That's okay. 
will get thrown out a game this way. That's totally fine. Um, you know what? I did have a good haul. Thank you very much. Hey, you know, I caught my very first Kangaskhan. Beautiful. But now, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. Thanks for watching. Till next time.